Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my boxy charm unboxing for you guys. Sorry, this is a little bit late. I finally finally got around to filming this video for you guys. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Um I do I did upgrade to get the um boxy lux box which has more products in there for $28, I believe. Um I do get it every three months, I believe, is when they come out, um, which I'm not mad about because I did already see what I, I got in my box, and I'm pretty happy about it. So, this is this month's box. It is more of a rectangle this time, and it is a little bit heavy, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So, I'm sorry if the lighting is changing a little bit. I am using natural lighting. The sun is literally right in front of the window. Um, obviously, you can see the shadow on me. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And yeah, this is the All Access Boxy Charm box this month. And it looks like this. So the first thing I saw when I first opened the box is that I got a curling iron. And I did open it to see how big it is. And this is from the brand Sutra Beauty. Sutra Beauty. This is the 32 mm one and one fourth clipless curling iron with cooling tip. And yeah, I'm really excited about this. I have been have been wanting a new curling iron for a while now, just because my hair is starting to grow more and it's getting longer. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had cut my hair a while ago. I think about this time last year um, and it was really short it was like above my shoulder um, so it's finally growing more and more and yeah I'm really happy I don't know if I'm gonna be cutting it again I don't really do much with my hair my hair is the one thing where I don't really put much effort into so I don't know if I want to cut it again or if I want to try something different I never even dyed my hair before so I don't know and I'm really scared because I don't want to damage my hair. My hair is pretty healthy and this retails for $65. That's like so much more than the bo the regular box already cost and this one as, as well. So the next thing I see which I'm kind of excited about is the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. It's a brightening and smoothing serum and this is from the brand Glow Recipe. And I'm really excited about it. I heard it was pretty good. I've never tried anything from this brand, I don't think. Um, I know they have that watermelon one, and I've really wanted to try that one as well. But I got this one in the box. It is a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, but this is what the um, jar or bottle looks like for it. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. Like I said, I've never tried anything from the Glow Recipe brand. So I'm excited to see if this works well with my skin. Which I hope it does because if it doesn't, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> and that retails for $49. Wow, that's expensive. If I would... Honestly, I would not purchase that myself because that's pretty expensive for one product. The next thing I have is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette. I, I've i never have tried this before and I've always really wanted it just because it looks so pretty. And this is what it looks like. It's a very, very beautiful pack. This is what the um, palette itself looks like. I don't want to blind you guys, but this is what it looks like. Ooh, it kind of smells like chocolate. It smells really good. And these are what the um, what the uh, bronzers and brightening powders look like, right? I don't, I don't think those are highlighters, no. But yeah, this is what the palette looks like. And it does have a nice big mirror as well, but I'm not going to show you because I don't want to blind you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about this palette. And that retails for... $45 which is not bad because the palette itself is pretty big um, and it looks like it has a lot of product in it the next thing I got is the Stila stay all day liquid lipstick in the shade Angelo Angelo yeah and I've never I don't think I've ever tried a liquid lipstick from Stila I think I have them I have a, 
maybe one or two because I found them at TJ Maxx. Um, and I don't think I've used them yet, so I haven't tried their formula. Um, I'm not like a huge liquid lipstick fan just because I hate when they're so drying and you know, your lips just feel so dry and they look dry so I don't don't know how their formula works and I hope it's not drying because I hate drying liquid lipsticks but this is what the shade of the liquid lipstick is it's like a more pinky um, color than I would go for it's like a pinky nude don't know how this is gonna look on me I don't think it's gonna suit me but we'll see it doesn't really smell it doesn't smell bad it just has like the I don't know like a liquid lipstick scent to it don't know but this retails for $22 which is kind of pricey for liquid lipstick um, the next thing I have is the Hank and Henry slick with it um, long wear liquid eyeliner and this sh this one this was <laughs> this one's in the shade blickety black blickety blicker blickly blickety blickety black I think that's how you say it I can't talk right now but yeah this is what the um, eyeliner looks like um, I've never used anything from this brand I think I only have one liquid lipstick from them and I don't know if I've used it just because it's in a shade that I don't really like um, I'm more of like a nude shade person um, so I do have one other product from them but I don't know if I've tried it yet and that retails for $20 which is not too bad for an eyeliner but I wouldn't pay $20 for it myself um, the next thing in here is the IGK um, more sh mistress hydrating hair balm so this says it's a leave-in conditioner it's a leave-in conditioning balm that won't weigh your hair down uh, you have you if you have dry coarse or frizzy hair you can use this uh, you want smooth soft hydrated hair if you want high smooth if you want smooth soft and hydrated hair um, and you use this by applying it to damp or dry hair and air dry or blow out um, and this does smell pretty good and I I don't have I don't think I have dry coarse hair but sometimes I think it's a bit frizzy especially on the top of my head I don't know if that's just baby hair and that's just how it is but um, I'm really excited to try this out. I do have another hair mask that I've been using for a long time now that I still have not finished. Um, I don't remember the brand, but I still am using one. But I'll obviously try this out once I get a chance to. This is what it looks like. And this retails for... This retails for $29, which I honestly wouldn't pay. Like I said, I don't put much effort into my hair, so I wouldn't pay that much for a hair balm. And the next thing I have is the um, Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask by the brand Dr. Brandt. Um, it says it's deeply hydrates and moisturizes to reduce redness and size of irritation. So... This is what it looks like. You literally can't even see. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I I do have a bit of redness um, along my T-zone and uh, on my cheeks. Um, mostly in the areas where I have my acne. I don't know why. I mean, it's just, I guess, just how my skin is. So I'm really excited to try this out and see if that really helps for that. And yeah, I... I've tried other things from the Dr. Brandt brand um, that I've got in my BoxyCharm. Um, so I'm really excited to try this out and see if it works for my skin and hopefully it doesn't break me out. And that retails for, okay, $52. That is crazy. This has 1.7 fluid ounces for $52. Like, that's a lot of money. I wouldn't purchase this if... I have to buy it on my own um, if it wasn't in this box I probably wouldn't have bought it 
um, that's a lot of money, but we'll see if it works. <sighs> and of course, while I'm filming this, clouds decide to move across the sun and block it. I'm really sorry about this horrible lighting. I was going to set up like my ring light, but then I was too lazy to, and I just didn't. But the last thing in the box is this palette from Violet Foss. It's the Essentials palette. Uh, this is the Pro Series uh, palette, and this is what it looks like. Very beautiful colors, most wearable colors. Um, we do have more of like a bit of brighter um, colors, just like the shade Emerald. Um, but the rest are really wearable, I think. At least for me, I would wear the other ones as well. And obviously, I would wear Emerald. It's a very beautiful green. Um, but yeah, this is the Violet Moss palette. I was really hoping that I would get... I don't remember the, what other variation of palettes there were, there were, but I was really hoping that I would get the other one by Tarte. I don't know. But this Violet Moss one retails for $29, which is not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate the everything together and see how much... Uh, how much this box is worth and I'll be right back. Wow. Okay. So the box that I have with the products that I got in my box, I know there's different variations of boxes, but mine is worth $311. And I only played $28, $28 for uh, this box, which is crazy because literally you almost spent only $30 for $311 worth of product that comes in the box which I think is crazy and I'm really happy with everything I got. I'm really excited to try the most of the things that I got. Um, the only thing I probably won't really use is the eyeliner, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. I'm sorry about the horrible lighting. I should prob probably be less lazy and actually try more, but... I don't learn, I guess. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!